Hey there, Yomimon Masters. We're back with the last episode from the Generation Chronicles against my buddy Cecil. He came at me with a Needle King, Breloom, Victini, Diancy, Star Raptor, and Fortress. So, when I'm looking at his team, I basically see two Pokemon that just scream, I'm going to lead with you. And that's either Breloom because of Sporing or the. I keep wanting to say Ferrothorn, but the Fortress because of Stealth Rocks and everything like that. So I'm like, Diancy, I always want you to come out first because I want you to Mega, and that's what I'm going to do. But also, it has Magic Bounce, so if he's going to bring out someone like that, then it should be super easy. And he does just that and brings out his uh, Fortress, and I bring out my Diancy. And it is time to Mega Evolve, as it always does. It's been a, you know, a thing other than one match where I didn't leave with Diancy this whole time. And I'm gonna protect because I like to scout. I like I like to see what you're gonna do. I haven't went up against a lot of fortresses before, so I didn't know. And now I know it was you gonna use Gyro Ball, and I'm like, okay, that's super effective. Nope, I want the heck out of dodge on that one. So he does it again just in case I stay in thinking he might think something else. But of course, I brought in my Luchador, my Conkledor, because he can take it. He's pretty slow as well too, so Gyro Ball is not gonna do a lot of damage. So then I'm like, what is he going to do now? And I see that he gives Stokes Rock on me. And that's kind of going to be the bane of my existence for a lot of this match. Because I don't have a spinner. So I usually tried to have to anticipate using Diancy with her Magic Bounce. But here, I was way too risky. So that was the perfect setup Pokemon again. My defense against that. So he jets on out of here using the Volt Switch. And I am really like, okay, who are you going to bring in next? Who you gonna bring in next? And he's like, Star Raptor. And I'm like, oh lordy, nope. Alright, I do not want to get hit by a Brave Bird to the face. So I bring in Rono. Why? Because he has some good defense and he's electric type. So Brave Bird shouldn't do that much, right? So then I'm like, okay. Let's see what this does. I'm like, oh goodness gracious. That wasn't even a crit. You must be banded. And after I saw that he was banded, I was like, or at least I think he's banded, because that did a lot of damage. He withdraws, too, making me think that he's also banded, and I could come in. But even if he did that again, he might be able to take me out. I do Will-O-Wisp, because just in the smidgen that I thought I would hang on, um, I really wanted to lower his attack, because being banded, oh lord, no. No, 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 no. So I do a Discharge, because, you know, Hydro Pump could miss, and I hoped that it would do enough. And even if it didn't, um, I don't think Gyro Ball would have done a lot. And also, the burn probably would have taken it out anyway. So then, we go up against Mr. Bane of my existence, his Breloom. So, of course, I bring on my Diancy because I'm like, you're going to put someone to sleep, right? That's what you're going to do. Breloom's put things to sleep. Now, we know this. But then he's like, no, I know you want me to do that. I know you're going to switch in that girl. So, Bullet Seed. I'm like, treat yourself? I don't know. But... I just got treated to a butt woman right there, and I lost my Mega, and I'm like, okay, gotta think about this a little bit better. So then I bring my area dose because, hey, I really, I'm like, okay, you're poison type, and you have insomnia. I'm not gonna go to sleep. He's like, Stone Edge. I'm like, uh, what? What? Stone Edge. Okay. So then I bring in my Gengar, because I'm like, you know, you protect against the Bullet Seed, you know, the Stone Edge, yeah, I'll probably be alright, but now, you know, and I knew I was faster, so I'm like, let me just one-shot you with a Sludge Wave, but I'm like, but you're probably a lead one, so you have the Focus Sash, so here comes the Spore, and I'm like, well, I think this might just be GG for me at this point, unless I get incredibly lucky, so, and there was a little bit of luck, but there was a little bit of decision-making on his part that was kind of like, well, so, he does Stone Edge, and I'm like, this Stone Edge is going to knock me out, but it doesn't knock me out, right? So, and I have just enough life left that I think if he did Bullet Seed, he might not take me out. So, he does the Stone Edge again, but it misses. I'm like, Stone Miss working for me. Stone Miss working for me. What, what? So, then, I bring out my Sludge Wave, and I wake up, and I'm like, woo! All right, I took this thing out. I was happy. I mean, I think I had about a 50... I was asleep for three turns, right? So I had about a 75% chance of waking up anyway. So that miss really worked out on my side. He brings in Hercule. I'm like, all right, Fidel's father, let's go. So I do the Will-O-Wisp because Sledge Wave, it's a poison type. It's not going to do very much, right? 
and I didn't know what it was going to do, but it completely spaced on my levitate ability, which again was good on my side. And now I'm like, all right, you burn it. I'm gonna put a hex on you. And that was super awesome because it took him out with nothing. And I'm like, Needle King, I love you, but eh, stick to fighting with Gary on the TV show. I kid. So now he brings in his Victine. Oh, not Victine. He brings in his Diancie. And it mega evolves. And I'm like, oh, Lordy. This thing is going to beat my behind. And I didn't know how it was specced. And I don't remember Gengar's special defense stat very well. And I knew because of its rock typing, I knew this wasn't going to knock it out. But when it did Moonblast, I'm like, this for sure going to take me out, right? Even if it is not very effective. It's like, no, I hang on with one HP. I'm like... Oh, Gengar, no, you the real MVP, okay? You the real ma effing MVP. And then I get to do another sludge wave, and I'm like, you just wrecking house today, hey? And I'm like, I took out your Diancy, my Diancy is done, so I'm like, all right, we doing this. We got this, baby. So then he brings out his Victini, and I'm all like, I got this, I'm faster, Shadow Ball, GG. Then he's like, be create I'm like, oh, you're scarfed, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. He, he scarf. I can't do this. And he gets a critical hit the boot. Not like it actually mattered, Victini. Not like it actually mattered. But, so now, if you notice one thing that's happening to Victini there, he may be scarfed. But, he's losing his speed as well, too. So I brought in Luchador because I'm like, you're scarfed. You're probably gonna use your recreate again because I know you're scarf and I'm like you can live through this right and if, and if you live through this you get a burn right and then I get to dream punch you it's like no 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 I, I don't know what game you think you're playing right now but your Congador was not boosted for that much defense so I'm like all right Rotom you need to come out here and hopefully be able to take this recreate because it's not very effective and you have some good defense but I think at the range of HP it was that was a pipe dream but so that's like three Pokemon in three turns. I'm like, Victini, you are scary. Like, seriously, you are scary. So, it comes down to my Metagross. I was holding my Metagross back because it's super effective against them if it's a V-Create. But now I'm like, but your speed has been lowered enough so I can use Earthquake and take you out. Yes! Yes, it happened. So. I think I stood up there a little bit. I got excited. But, so then he brings out his gotcha man, oh, which is a Star Raptor, and this is the last one, so I'm like, please, because of the normal effectiveness and non-stab, live, and he does, and I'm like, alright, I got you with the Ice Punch, and if that didn't take it out, and somehow, which part of my mind thought it didn't, I have Bullet Punch, and I was just gonna be like, bloop, and get him out of there, so... That was one more done, but that was such a super close match. I really loved what Victini did there. And that does it for the Generations Tournament. So coming next, um, I have a group of friends that go by Team Scyther. And some of our weird and zany battles will be featured in the month of August. So look out for those. But in the month of September, I'm going to be going to PAX the last weekend of August. And they have the PAX Pokemon League. So I'm going to try to get all my battles with all the gym leaders and post them up here for you for that fun event that happens at every PAX that I've gone to for the past like three years. So that does it for this episode of Yomimon. Again, like, comment, tell me what you want to see, tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like. And also subscribe if you want to see more content. Other than that, you guys have an awesome day.